Hello peoples, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you live from Niagara Falls, Canada. This time I'm going to show you what I've been up to with my junk journals and my junk mail. So first of all, I want to show you this. Now, I already sh did a flip through these uh, Traveler's Notebook signatures in one of my other videos. So I decided it was time to make a cover for it. And this is the cover here. I used my Sketchbox box to make the cover. This was the front of the box. This was the back of the box. And this was one of the sides. I used masking tape to tape all the pieces together, leaving small little spaces between each piece. And I covered the spine with some scrapbooking paper. And then I did one of those uh, wraparound uh, traveler's notebook uh, bindings so that you can slip the, the signatures in and out. I made room enough for five. I've got the other two signatures here, which I showed you what I had made of them. So I've got room for those two, plus I've got room for one more. And this is how it looks. It's pretty delicious, I think. I love it. Uh, the front cover, oh, well, I should say the whole thing isn't finished. I'll put something in the inside covers and I'm thinking that with the front cover I'll uh, I'll put some jewels and glitter and stuff on her and uh, so that's that I won't show you this again until it's finished with its five signatures then we'll go through a flip through with it so for about two weeks I collected my mail, everything that came in my mailbox. And that includes junk mail, envelopes and advertisements, and magazines, free things that I send away for. And besides the junk mail, I also put aside packaging, uh, especially if it's stuff that I've ordered online. I'll put the packaging aside with the junk mail and uh, they'll just be random things around the house that instead of throwing it in the garbage, I'll put it in my junk mail pile. So I had that pile for about two weeks and I, uh, what's the word? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the word's gone out of my mind because of the C. Okay, so anyways, uh, curate! That's the word? Curate. I curated the junk mail and I ended up making two little journals out of it. This is the first one here. The uh, cover is made from a set of stickers that my son got and I made that as a cover and then I put all the appropriately sized pages inside. Uh, this was from the stickers as well. I've already started working in this one, as you can tell. As you can tell on that page. And here, those are the Stencil Girl March. One of the stencils. Uh, got a Daphne's diary, and it came with this little pocket di planner diary in here. So I took the staples out, put it together, and put it in here. Uh, got some coffee ads. And I used those little pages from the from the little diary. Uh, that was another page from the stick it, sticker set. Uh, diary pages and an envelope this side. And then we have the other other side of that thing that came with the stickers. So this one, I had just I, ha I just had ten pages, so uh, 
so that makes 20 altogether when you fold them in half for a signature, which is usually how many I do if I'm going to sew it together by sewing machine. And that's, that's just what I did here. I put them together and I just, where is it? We will get there. Don't worry. There we are. So in the middle, I just sewed down with the sewing machine. Only when I do it, I sew from this side because I found out that creates a more on target sewing line. So that I'm working on that. Now also I got two packages in the mail that were uh, wrapped in these big plastic bands. These make me think of those fruit bands, so not quite so thick. So I thought, why not just use these as belly bands? So I uh, you can probably see there. I I drizzled some paints and uh, sorry some inks metallics on it to grunge it up and that becomes a belly band and that's the one I'm working on now the other one I did is this one right here now this is a larger one. This is the other elastic band. I haven't I haven't done anything with this one except put it together. Now the cover of this one is the envelope that my stencil girl club stencils came in. All I did was undo the seam in it and it makes a really good kind of like folder cover. So we open it up this will all be decorated, but I haven't done anything in this one yet. And I made a wrap around signature here to fit three. Uh, sorry, wrap around binding. I can't speak tonight. Wrap around binding here so that I could put the three signatures in, although I've only made two so far. But it leaves me room to make one more signature this size. So that's bound up just to that one side like that and it closes closes like that so um, as you can see I got a calendar in the mail we have enough calendars all over the house so I took the staples out of the calendar and I used that as my basic size for this book so this next page is from the instruction book to a coffee machine that I just got recently and they were the same length sorry the same width as the calendar so I thought I'd put them in here for a difference of size so I took the staples out of this booklet and put the pages in here as well now this is I believe a trifold uh, envelope I put a piece of packaging in here part of it was used to make a pocket and part of it to make the tag this was a piece of paper that came in a magazine subscription i got then we've got more calendar pages um, at advertising from drugstore or something this one I actually this this was just a fold in half piece like this and then I had a trifold piece so we glued this onto the trifold so there's two here and when we get to the side on the other there'll be two over there so continued putting in the calendar pages this is the coffee page it's upside down because the book is one of those flip ones where it's English on one side, flip it over, and it's French on the other side. Okay, now this one I've made myself a, a pocket that is falling apart. I need to move this over here. Okay, so I've made a pocket here that's falling apart, so I'm going to have to staple that on there, but I've made a pocket. I'm going to use this piece of packaging as a card to go in there. Uh, we continue on with the coffee booklet. Now I moved my book over so it was all out of space. So I used twine this time. 
So more of that. I'm going to go over to the other side. We've got more calendars, the other sides of the coffee sheets. Let's see. Here we go. This was the trifold. So we've got the two folds on this side glued to the double one on the other side. And that's that paper, the rest of the envelope, the coffee book, and the magazine uh, calendar. Okay, so now let's go to my second signature. So obviously, like I said, I usually do around 10 pages to sew, fold in half and sew down the middle to make a 20 page signature, 10 on each side. So this is a piece of packaging that I've put here that I got. I, I tend to make a I intend to put that as a tag either there or on the side here. So I'm just leaving it there for now. Okay, so now we have another envelope which I opened up and I glued to another envelope so that on the other side it would have the same size of envelope when we got there. More of the coffee book. Uh, we have a Harvey's advertisement, more of the calendar, more of the coffee book. Okay, this was uh, a cardstock envelope that a uh, religious mailing I got came in. More calendar, coffee pages. Okay, this is the envelope that the uh, calendar came in. And so I just went straight down and there you can see it is and in the middle this was uh you can see what kind of coffee maker i made i bought right there an espresso i love it and this is the brochures i got with the coffee that i bought and so we have the other side that's the other side of the religious mailing envelope and see. Let's show you the, the envelope right here. So there's the full envelope but the flap was glued on to the other side like I showed you. So then we'll have this. I'll decorate this. I'll decorate that. And put it together. Put it together like this. And then the belly band goes around it. And I should start on this side. So lots of work to do on that. This is just the frame that I will be decorating. So those are the journals that I'm working on. Um, actually, just quickly before I finish, I'll show you the first few pages of this signature, which I showed you empty uh, a few videos ago, actually in my last journal uh, video. I've done the first few pages of collage, so I'll show those to you. So this is my coffee page. floral page there. I love this lady. She's so plain looking but she's you can tell she's flamboyant. Now this is one of those little envelopes. Covered it with some magazine paper. Put some little bit of collaging on the back and I put some packaging inside. This is a celestial tea uh, from the box stamped it with stars because there were stars on it already and I just grunged up the back and added a piece of ribbon so that I've got a tag. Now this is from the packaging from the uh, beanie baby that I bought the other day and uh, just collaged, collaged that up and made this lady have uh, bunny ears. This is my black and white page sticker from Sketchbox, the sticker from a shirt that I bought for my husband, and a little bit of scrap paper. Now we've got another envelope here, which I have a decorated kind of scrapbook style on this side, and I just did some stamping. I've made a tag to go inside of it. Shows through the window. And this tag 
was made from some sort of packaging. I don't recognize it now that I've altered it, but it was it was just packaging. It's just cardstock there, collaged on this side, and then just covered the back with a piece of decorated paper and put some cord in there. That's kind of kind of like shoelace, except uh, waxy. I don't know what that is. And that's as far as I've gotten in this book. These are little bits that I have left to use, and uh, the rest of the book is empty. So those are the junk journals that I have been working on and working in for the last few days. And thank you for joining me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thumbs up, please, and subscribe if you got this far and enjoyed our little talk.